I was at a cafe the other day when I saw they had green coffee beans for sale. They were calling out to me and telling me to buy them. So I did. I've occasionally seen them on sale, but I've never really considered buying them until now. I bought 250 grams of roasted beans for $12.50 and one kilo of green beans for $16.90. That's quite a lot cheaper, but the green beans will lose some of their weight in the roasting process. A quick search on the internet shows three easy ways of roasting beans without um, investing in any further equipment. The two simplest methods are using a pan on the stovetop or just putting the beans in the oven. Apparently there's a simple and effective methods, but they can result in an uneven roast. The third method that comes highly recommended was to use a household popcorn maker. I happen to have one lying around at home, so I thought I should try it out. Firstly, let's discuss the beans. Coffee beans are the seeds from the coffee plant. This plant grows small red cherries that contain the seeds. The seeds are removed from inside the fruit. The seed is then dried and an outer husk removed. That gives you the green coffee bean. At the green bean stage, the coffee bean has no real flavour of its own. It tastes woody and nothing like coffee at all but roasting gives it that flavour. So, I'm all ready to go. I've got the popcorn maker, I've got the coffee, and I've got a little bowl here which is supposed to catch the chaff that comes off the, off the coffee beans as they roast. I've also got a wee timer here. Uh, this should take five to seven minutes. Um, so I'll get the machine going and throw the coffee in. At this point it's starting to get a pretty good colour on. Uh, beans are going a little bit brown, a little bit yellow. Almost the colour of kind of peanuts. Now we're at three minutes. Um, just starting to hear a bit of cracking coming out of the machine. Um, this is, I guess, uh, first crack. Um, at four minutes now, there's still quite a bit of chaff coming off. Um, the cracking has subsided a little bit. Just heard a few more cracks, which I guess are going to be second crack. Turn the machine off and pull this out to cool it down. Alright. And that's it. Uh, that was about six and a half minutes. Looks pretty good to me, but. I don't know, we'll see. Um, I need to leave this to cool and then we'll see what the coffee tastes like. Um, the roast turned out pretty well, I think. Um, it looks reasonably even. It doesn't look too underdone or too overdone. Um, I started out with 80 grams of coffee and ended up with about 70. I'm going to put it in the grinder and see how I get on. Smells alright. It's probably a bit of a heavier roast than what I'd normally prefer, but it, it'll be alright. Well, that's not bad at all. Yeah, definitely going to do that again. Job done.